Hey everybody, just wanted to say hi. Before we get started, uh, we're going to work on a little kind of an original, just a little test video here. So I just wanted to kind of show you my setup um, and say hello before we get started. We're going to work on a little watercolor tree that I've been working on kind of as a, a sample painting. So I'll show you what that looks like right here. Okay, so here you have me, hello, and then we have our sample photo, which is not, doesn't work, the sheep. Uh, we have my palette over here, and then we have the painting that we're working on right here. It's just a little, a little quick tree. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, just checking on things and sound and that kind of stuff. I have a little bit of an issue with my web camera. Um, this one here, there's some, some stripes. Can you see that? I'm not sure what that is caused by. Um, I guess it's my tech person and let him look at it. Uh, I'm not sure if it's defective camera or if it's a setting. I tried to fix it, but I don't know what to do. So anyway, <clears throat> we're going to paint just a little, just a quick, a quick second here. So I'm just mostly practicing. So you see I have my paper towel here. So this is just a board that I have set up um, that looks kind of nice rather than just a, a table. And uh, I have just a little, I have a little ring light over there to kind of shine on it to help illuminate a little bit. I normally have, I hold my paper towel in my hand. I just have a little paper towel just folded up and I just will wipe my brush on it a lot. Um, and that's kind of how I like to roll with that. And I have my, my paint palette over here to the right of me, which is what I like to do. This is my little, um, little mixing station right here. And it's kind of muddy right now that I have a cup over here that you can't see with water. So it's just pretty simple setup. Actually, anybody could paint with this. This is just a piece of watercolor paper that I got out of a little pad that I bought at Walmart. Um, and I'm actually trying out a, I saw a video of a, a gal that had a really, really good hack uh, in regarding these little small twigs. She took a pencil sharpener and sharpened the end of it to make a pointy stick. And she painted with the stick. She got some, a whole bunch of paint in her, in her palette, really, really wet got it wet and then she just proceeded to just draw the branches and I thought oh that's not going to work I don't think that's going to work I tried it it works fantastically it's the most wonderful thing I think I've ever experienced with watercolor painting as far as little tips and tricks and, and I took that same pointy brush I don't know if you can see that or not I'm going to zoom hold it up closer you can see all the little scratches that I made It'll fo focus uh, the little scratches that I made there's alarm going off. I think it's just about time to go home. Um, but I made little scratches with the brush down here to um, show, to indicate grass or, or branches or that kind of thing. So I'll come back later and added some additional color to this area to kind of beef it up a little bit. Um, just add some more depth to it so it doesn't look just like a bunch of scratches on the on the page and uh, building la layers, layers and layers and layers and layers and layers, just kind of random strokes to indicate grass growing or blowing in the wind, that kind of thing. Uh, I love grass. I'm an, an oaky at heart. I was raised in Oklahoma from about age five to uh, mid twenties before I moved to Tennessee. And I used to have horses growing up, and I spent a lot of time outside. And I love that tall grass that waves in the wind. And uh, my husband keeps our pasture mowed a lot, which makes me a little sad because it has the most beautiful red grass in the wintertime. It's just a gorgeous red color. But anyway, I like grasses. <clears throat> so you see that those grooves that were cut in there are still there, even though I'm painting on them. So it still kind of accentuates that. So that's kind of a cool effect, I think. Gonna add some more green. I think maybe I'll add a like a darker color. I really don't like that color. And I have not pre-moistened my my paints, which really helps a whole lot before this little test. Because like I said, this is just a little test. We're just practicing to see. So you can see, you can just I'm just basically dotting this on just random in random ways. But it looks so pretty. Looks really really pretty. And uh, 
I guess you could call this a, a beech tree, a birch tree, an aspen tree, a sycamore tree. It could be any kind of light bark tree. Uh, we don't have aspens here. We don't have birches here in Tennessee. We have beech and we have sycamores. Sycamores always grow down by the water. And they're one of my very favorites because I'm very partial to the, the light bark. I love the aspens in Colorado. I wish they would grow here. But it's, because it's too hot. Um, but the beech trees are kind of cool. We have a lot of those, and those are den trees for raccoons and owls and whatnot. They're kind of cool. The, the reason they're den trees is because they end up rotting on the inside and creating these big caverns that all the critters like to live in. The downside of that is anytime there's a big wind, they're liable to just topple over, so you don't want to have them close to your house. We've had some really big, big beech trees that just have fallen and made a huge mess in the, in the woods or in the pasture. We had one hit a beehive one time. That was sad. But anyway, they're kind of cool, so I'm just kind of thinking around here on this tree just to, to play, just pretending that I'm actually doing a, a little class. So anyway, I might put this up just for fun. Maybe I'll put it on TikTok. So I do have a YouTube channel, it's Sharon Taylor Creative, that's the name of my business, um, because it encompasses all of my art and my music and everything else that I get into. I'm also a children's book author, uh, I teach classes on uh, writing and illustrating children's books, and I also teach art classes, and I, I teach singing lessons and piano lessons, and if I could just about do anything, I uh, could a variety of things but it's a very creative space and I'm very blessed to be able to do what I love and so that's the name of my business is Sharon Taylor Creative my YouTube channel uh, I do have a TikTok channel I will link to it in the bottom the name could change right now it is Sharon show me as in Sharon show me how to play a C major major chord on the piano Sharon show me how to paint a beech tree Sharon show me how to make your famous chocolate cream pie it's not famous but it's really good etc etc so i also have instagram sharon taylor creative and i'm also on facebook sharon taylor creative i think i even have an etsy account but there's nothing there so don't bother um, but anyway so i'm going to be doing some classes and i hope that you join me i'm going to post where i'm um on all of my social media when I'm going to be live. I actually plan on having a scheduled day, which is Monday evening at about 6.30. I have a class that leaves at 6 o'clock, so it'll take me a few minutes to get set up. So approximately 6.20, 6.30. We'll just say 6.30 to be safe. So if you'd like to join me on Mondays, we're going to paint some pretty simple watercolors, something that we can accomplish in about an hour that you can be proud of. And you can, we're going to build upon our skills and we're going to learn and have a lot of fun. I have some really good um, paintings scheduled coming up, so I would love for you to join me and spread the word. Right now it's free. Uh, I would just love to have you here with me and, and uh, chat with me. I'm not very good at chatting while I'm painting, but I'll try to say hello if you say something to me. Um, you can always leave me a comment in the comment box and I will reply to you, or you can send me an email. Sharon Taylor Creative at gmail.com. Look at me. And uh, I look forward to this upcoming series and learning together and uh, me learning how to do all this production stuff on top of painting and just having a good time. Uh, so if you feel like you want to do something fun without pressure of being in a physical class, um, it's very inexpensive. You don't have to have the most high dollar brushes or paints or anything. Um, I don't really care for Hobby Lobby's watercolor paints. I've had kind of bad experiences with them, but I do like Michael's. Michael's stuff is pretty good. Their Artist Loft brand, I think, is nice, and there's a plethora of watercolor palettes similar to mine um, that you can find available on Amazon. Super easy, and I will try to leave a description with maybe some shopping links for you. Uh, you can you could get everything at Walmart. You really, you really don't have to have a whole lot. Um, to begin, I painted off a lot of beautiful pictures that are hanging up in my dad's house with praying watercolors, just like the kind we use in school, with the brush that came in the box. Uh, of course, I don't think things are quite the same quality as they were 30-something years ago. 
So that might not be such a good good idea, but you can always start with start somewhere, get in, and then as you like it, you can upgrade your stuff a little at a time. I will say that good tools make a big difference. Uh, but right now I'm painting with pretty much student quality stuff. And I, I have one brush that I kind of like that I use for most everything. Uh, you don't need a whole lot of brushes. I really prefer round brushes like this one. It's it's called a round brush. This is a number seven. This is a very good brand, actually, Best with an E. Uh, you can find them on Amazon. The round brushes are really good for watercolor. They have a point, so you can paint branches. You can paint grass. You can dab and dot and do all sorts of things. Um, it's a good, a good beginning set. So anyway, get you some paints. Get you some paper and a cup of water and a paper towel and get on your phone or your computer and log in Monday and come paint with me. We're going to paint a shamrock. It'll be a lot of fun. Okay, I think I'm going to stop now, so you guys be blessed, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for stopping by.